Yes, that's true. Now we can use the Power BI dashboards and reports in our Jupyter Notebooks. And in this video, I will show you what you need to do and how you can do it. Pay attention because there are a couple of tricks that I will mention that are required to do this. So let's start. First, you need to install the Power BI client with pip. And let me fast forward this. Now I'll need to install the notebook because I created an environment for this and let's launch it. Okay, now we need to import from the Power BI client package, the report and the models. Import, report, models. And then the next step we need to import from the Power BI client from Power BI client dot authentication import device code login authentication and this is needed to authenticate against the Power BI. Next we need to write the device authentication variable which is assigned to device code login authentication and parentheses. Okay now as you can see this is running we need to authenticate in this site using this code so let's do it. So here you put the code then Forward, then you insert your mail and password to authenticate. You'll be able to watch the screen. And now as you can see that cell is not running anymore. Let's group, let's grab the group ID and the report ID. This is equivalent to the workspace ID and report ID that I will explain later. Now we'll build uh, instance of Power BI to report and load the report that we want. So report between parentheses group ID equals to group ID then report ID equals to report ID and last the authentication which is equal to device out. After running this cell, you'll get an error because you don't have group ID, neither report ID. To get that group ID is the same as the workplace ID and you need to come to the URL from the workplace and then use that ID. Let me delete this. Then for the report ID, you open the report that you want to use. And after it loading, you can come to the URL and select this ID. Now you paste it here, you run this cell, run the report cell, and now you just need to call the report. And voila, your report is here. So this report is from a video that I did some time ago. It is from the Robinhood app reviews. And as you can see, this report, this report is interactive. Interact with the information that you have here, such as in the Power BI desktop. One very important thing about this is that you need to have a premium account from Power BI in order to do this. Otherwise, you can't access the workplace ID, at least as far as I find out. I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching, smash the like button to help the channel and subscribe if you are new and see you around.